I am here with Ryan Anderson, who is a preferred partner of Real Producers of Wayne County. Thanks for joining me, Ryan. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to see you and talk to you again, even though uh, I normally would probably prefer it in person. Zoom works pretty okay, yeah. too. Right. It's a great alternative, being yeah. able to connect, at least with seeing each other. Right. And um, again, Ryan's a preferred partner. And like all of our partners, they're referred by top agents in the area. And we wanted to shine some light on Ryan in Union Home Mortgage and share a little bit about what he does and the services he provides. Yeah. So Ryan, tell us more about your business and what you do. Yeah, so I, uh, I work for a company called Union Home Mortgage. We're a national lender. We provide all the fun services and bells and whistles that everybody would get from a <clears throat> really big company that they would look for, except for it's a very personal feel. You deal with me your entire time throughout your transaction from your very first question to the time you close on your purchase or refinance and uh, just like to add that, that personal touch. So I originate for its residential mortgages. So if you want to buy uh, a, a primary residence, a secondary residence, an investment property, or maybe look at a refinance, whether you just want to lower your payment or your interest rate or your term, or maybe take some, some cash out on your equity, I assist people with that. Okay, nice. Yeah. So now, Ryan, what is something that sets you apart or you pride yourself in with your business? Yeah, so this is one thing that uh, I get asked quite often <clears throat> about, you know, what about your business is unique? What about what you do is unique? There's a lot of loan officers that are in the United States. There's a lot of officers that are in, in uh, the state of Michigan. There's a lot of loan officers that are in Wayne County, in Oakland County, in Southeast uh, Michigan. So the one thing that I would say um, that would really separate me, uh, the difference between a lot of people who might've been in the industry for a long time or just coming up is the, the personal touch and the care or care and attention that I really do give to my clients. So the very first thing that I like to do outside of just <clears throat> answering their questions that they have is build a personal relationship with people. I've been very fortunate enough to be able to, um, after we're closed, I still keep in contact with a lot of the people that I work with. And it's just because uh, getting a mortgage can be a little bit of an intimate process. Like I'm at one point just kind of a stranger on the phone. And uh, through that process, the, my client and I, we get to know each other a little bit. And because I do get to see some pretty personal information and and uh, have to have them trust me to be able to protect that and advise in their best interest. And then at the same time, I, I really want to be able to have them trust me to be able to deliver the things that I'm say going to be able to, to do. So um, that's probably the thing that I would say sets me most apart is that I, I take on more of a, an advisor role outside of just like a, like a patient client or like a lender client type deal. It's more of like a, Hey, let's get to know each other. I want to be able to help you reach your goals and, and let's make it more of a personal thing because buying or refinancing a house is a personal thing. It's, it's emotional for a lot of people and there's a lot of stuff that's involved. So I want to make sure that I'm uh, attending to those needs outside of just dollars and cents. And it's not just a one-time thing. So you're, I mean, you're building this relationship so that, you know, you're their, you're their mortgage go-to right. guy forever and yep. even for advice. So I like that. You know, but that's right. my goal. And I'm very thankful because I've had a lot of clients, uh, past clients even come back just to be like, Hey, um, <clears throat> my parents are looking at this or I'm looking at this. And like, it's more of just a shoot the breeze. What do you think type thing? And that's super rewarding. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So what do you enjoy most about what you do? So, I mean, like the personal relationships, learning, uh, learning what drives people, um, and, the best thing about it is not only obviously the cliche thing is like, I love when buyers get their keys or when I see people save $200 on a refinance, that's great. It really is. Um, and like, I love to do that because I love to be able to produce the end goal for what people are wanting to do. And when we deliver what we say we wanted to do as per the terms of what we thought was going to happen, like that's awesome. Um, but probably one of the best things and one of my most favorite things about what I do is the relationships that are, are formed not only with clients, but the people who refer me clients. So realtors and attorneys and financial planners. Um, I have learned more than I probably ever would have thought or imagined about more things than just my industry by talking to people. Cause I get the privilege of working with everybody. I mean, like I've, I worked with a guy called, uh, his, his term was a scrum master. And I would, I could probably ask 10 people what they think a scrum master is. He's a phenomenal man. 
Um, but like, you just get to learn a lot of different things about different industries and, and stuff like that. So that helps me put my thinking cap on is to say, okay, you know, maybe I can learn a little bit more about <clears throat> stuff I had no idea about. And it just kind of helps me expand a little bit of my, my Verizon's or Verizon, not the cell phone company. Uh, it's not a plug for them. Uh, expand my horizons right. yeah. and, and kind of get, uh, get a better feel and idea of how to become better at my job and more, more well-rounded. And it's all from the relationships that I get. So that's for sure from the, the best thing that I get about my job is the exposure to people, different ideas, different things, the relationships that come of it yeah. and, and last even after closing and stuff like that. Yeah. And Ryan, you are very personable. I mean, very approachable, you know, when you first meet Ryan at an event or just, you know, around town, um, you're very willing and you're very, when you talk, when I talk to you, you're very connected. Like you're not thinking about the million other things going on. Like, you know, that, that I think means a lot to a lot of people, you know, when you're trying to make a connection and build uh, a relationship. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, good. Um, thanks. All right, Ryan. So tell us, tell the viewers something that a lot of people don't know about you. Oh gosh. Um, <clears throat> I mean, like, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to not know everything about everybody nowadays because of like Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. But um, maybe I'll say this is the only the second time in my entire life that I've ever grown a mustache. Really? <laughs> and um, the only other time that I grew a mustache was on my second deployment. Um, we did like what we called playoff mustaches and it's when we thought we were going to go home and then we ended up having to get extended. And then when we did leave country and we're on our way home, <clears throat> um, we were going to shave our mustaches because we had like a, a date. We were going to land in the United States. And that was delayed because there was a like a volcano that was that hadn't erupted in like like a, a tens of thousands of years that was threatening to like erupt and so um i have to have this mustache because it, i lost a bet to my girlfriend first of all i'll say that ah. <clears throat> but the only other uh the only other time i've ever had a, a, a mustache is that from my deployment i guess yeah. it's not very exciting but like i have a beautiful daughter i was in the military i do mortgages i love my friends and family it's about all i got awesome well, uh, Ryan, where can the viewers find you? Where can, where can they get in touch with you if they want to chat more? With yeah, you? so um, you can always uh, message me directly on either Facebook or Instagram. Facebook is Ryan at Union Home Mortgage, all spelled out. Um, and then uh, Instagram is Ryan at UHM with some underscores in there. And then uh, you can give me a call directly at 248-564-1619. Um, but I, I'm happy to answer any questions or, you know, uh, just talk to you about mortgages or anything financially housing related at all. Okay, great. And any final words for the viewers, Ryan? Yeah. So uh, right now is pretty crazy time just in life in general. Uh, and hopefully everybody that's seeing this is, is doing well and, and uh, relatively has, has been unscathed and not as affected uh, as most. But what I would say, especially in terms and relates to mortgages is that, there's a lot of things that are changing, even more so that change. I mean, mortgages change all the time. Um, but now the rate of which things are changing um, and, and just being um, altered, and I don't want to say permanently, but probably temporarily just because of the state of everything that's in. If there's any questions that you have, please don't assume that Google knows the answer because everybody's situation is different. Yeah. It's just like uh, when you go to get a quote, um, you know, people are going to tell you different things. If you Google one thing, uh, it's, it's probably going to be maybe a bit misleading and it's probably going to be information that's meant for the masses, which may not be specifically for you. So if there's anything that you, you have as far as question wise, whether it's, can I refinance? Should I refinance? Can I still purchase a house? Can I get pre-approved? Is now still a good time to do that? Cause I, I can't physically legally go see stuff. Um, or it's like, Hey, listen, like I'm one of the people that have been affected by, Maybe I'm temporarily laid off because I'm not allowed to go to work or something like that about forbearance or anything or mortgage related. Um, try, to, try to talk to somebody that you know and trust. I would love to be that person for you. But if there's somebody you know and trust, talk to them specifically because you're going to get more accurate information than, than you would just find on Google or, um, you know, on, on one of the, the news networks or something like that. 
Yeah, I mean, that, that makes a really good point. So yeah. thank you so much, Ryan. And yeah. it was yeah. nice to hear a little bit more about you and yeah. what you do. And thank you for your partnership with Real Producers of Wayne County. And again, reach out to Ryan if you have any questions. And y'all have a great day. Awesome. Thanks, Tara. I appreciate it. See you guys later.